Hello my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be doing a decluttering video. These are items that I've been collecting for the past month and a half. Um, these are items that I've either not reached for in that time period or I've reached for and I wasn't very satisfied or happy with those items. Um, I think technically I have an item for every part of the face. I could technically do a full face of product of these products. Um, if you would like to see, maybe maybe that will be a video that I do at the end of the week. We'll see. But um, I'm going to start with my empties first. And the first two items I have are my freckle pen from ColourPop and my freckle pen from Lime Crime. My ColourPop pen is in the shade Soft Brown and my Lime Crime one is in Cocoa. I first got the Lime Crime one um, because I wanted to try doing the freckled looks. And I thought this was a great product when I got it, but it was the first one of like a freckle product that I've ever gotten. So I might not have known better. Um, it is a, it's not a brush tip. It's like the, the felt tip. How do I explain it? Um, I always stored it laying down flat like this. I never stored it upside down or anything. Um, I think technically there's still product in here for me to use and I bought this when they had just launched. I'm just, um, I like, it, it has a lasting ability, like it will last my entire day. Um, and I like using the two together. Um, I think this is really great for like beginner friendly freckle looks. If you're not, if, you, if you're trying to start incorporating freckles into your look and you're just not sure this is a very harmless way to go about it because um, it's not like a, a dry ink and you can blot it out and cover it with other products if you end up not liking how it looks. I think for the price point for the Lime Crime one I would stick with the two ColourPop pens. Um, you definitely get more product but I find that my ColourPop one did dry out faster like this, the ColourPop one is a lot harder to use and I don't even think I fully used all the product in there. It's just super dry that I really have to push down. So then I'm not even getting like freckled marks. I'm just getting like big like beauty marks. And I just want cute little dots. And then for the Lime Cream one, it's like pretty easy to use. And then you tap it out. Um, I like the shade of the Lime Cream one, but I think I'm going to try other freckle products and move on from these. I don't hate them, um, but I'm not super, super in love with them. But I think I think they're good products. So if you had your eye on them and you're, you're not used to freckle products, I would try these out. Another empty I have is the uh, Fenty Beauty Mascara. Um, I really liked it for the wand. I thought the wand was really good because um, I like wands that are flat because it helps me like put the product in and then I can comb it out with, through the edge. The first using the product, it comes out really thick and heavy. Um, so after you've used it a few times and it's kind of like aired out a bit, it's perfect. But then it starts to get dry. And once it starts to get dry, it starts to get flaky and it catches. Um, don't use it on your lower lid because it'll catch. If you have longer eyelashes on the bottom like I do, it's going to catch to your skin. And then all of a sudden you're going to have like these black lines where your fine lines are under your eyes. Um, I would purchase this again, like it's, it's a mascara that I like, but I mean for the price point, I, I mean I usually, for higher end mascaras, I only buy the minis anyway, so I mean it's like not too steep in price, but if I can find something at the drugstore that can give me the same effect, but not for that price, I would probably go with that, but it's not. Um, the next two items I'm going to talk about are face products. So the first one is my ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh. Um, is this a tinted moisturizer? Yeah, it's a hyaluronic tinted moisturizer. I have the shade Light 8N. Um, as you can see, this product is still pretty full, but I haven't been reaching for this after having the skin tints that I have. I really, really enjoy my skin tints more um, than this product. And I don't know, I've seen people who have had, I've had this product for a while and mine hasn't started to separate yet. 
but I've seen people who have had this in their collection for a while and it does start to separate. So I don't know, I think I wanna get rid of it before it starts to get to that point because I'm, I'm already like not reaching for it. But it was one of my favorites. Um, so if you're not someone that really truly cares about tinted moisturizers, like I think I would wear this maybe to like the beach on like a summer day where there's no point in wearing makeup, but like I wanna put this on over sunscreen, you know, like, I don't know, like, if, I, if I'm going to, like, an outdoors event where, like, I'm gonna be in water or something, but I think by the time that season comes around and events are open again, like, this would have gone bad by then, but it's not bad, and I don't even know, I think, is it even restocking on the ColourPop website? I don't know if they're even discontinuing this item. Like you can still find it in Ulta, but when I tried to buy this exact shade off of ColourPop, it had been sold out for a long time, along with all of, of, of the few other shades in that collection. Um, it seems that they only have like the darker tones left on the ColourPop website, and, and even Ulta starting to become slim pickings. So if you were interested in restocking, I would do it now and not wait. The second item I have is this uh, Tint Con Contour City Balm. Um, I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe. Um, and I really wanted to try it because I heard everyone really talk, or I heard a lot of really great reviews about this product, but then once I got it and I was looking it up online, this is not actually the the tint that they had originally. So they had a one previously that they discontinued and then came out with this one. Um, I I think it's trying to be like a skin tint, but it's so matte. It's like one of those like uh, crazy matte foundations. Like it just really clings to dry patches and it makes my skin look more textured than it actually is. It doesn't really do my skin any favors really. Um, and I've tried everything from using it with primer to using it right after I moisturized to using more dewy products on top of it to kind of give my skin a bit more life. Um, using a little bit just to kind of like spot touch and, and nothing really worked out for me. Um, I think I have like just a little bit left like... I don't know, I really went through like halfway through this. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't pay like the full Sephora price for this and only paid like the TJ Maxx price for it. But, and I don't even think it was close like to an expired product. I just, I don't think these sell. So I think that's the only reason why I found it at TJ Maxx. Um, I don't think it's an expired product. It didn't smell weird. It wasn't runny. The product definitely wasn't open because I had ordered this online. If you didn't know, you can order things off TJ Maxx online and it just comes from like a warehouse. So it definitely wasn't touched, wasn't open, and it came with like the safety seals and everything on it. And um, I don't know, I just, it has SPF in it and I've tried to wear this outside many times and once my skin starts to like sweat because I'm out exposed to the sun, like it starts to break up. Again, this does no favors for my skin, um, but I thought that the shade itself was perfect to my skin tone. I just wish that the product was better. The next items I have are lip glosses. And I mean, they together they look like such a pretty trio, right? Like these are so nice. Um, I wish that these products worked out for me more than they actually did. So I'll start with this one, Roundabout. I wish the, the shade looks more pink or candy pink on my lips versus what's in the bottle. And that's disappointing to me because even using it with like a more nude lip liner, um, it doesn't matter. It just looks super, super pink and candy. I wish it was more of this like mauve tone, but it's not. So I think I'm just gonna pass this along to somebody else and hopefully they would like it. Um, this is like the good formula, I think, because I don't get like the stickiness. Um, I, there is a nice plumping effect. I'm just not that into the color. The shade just doesn't suit me. These two, on the other hand, are different. So these ones I got in my ColourPop haul, and I talked about it in a few other videos, but every time I've tried to use these, these have become, these get so sticky on my lips. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of these. The shades looked really promising, and I know I said this before, but I wanted to replace um, or find something to replace my favorite Jeffree Star lip glosses. Um, but these just don't do it for me. I think the formula is really disappointing which is sad because i have so many other so juicy lip glosses like i have just the clear one i have the lizzie mcguire one i have a few other just matte shades i don't know if it's maybe because it has this like glitter in it but the lizzie mcguire one has glitter in it as well and it has even chunkier pieces of glitter and i still don't have like that sticky lip um effect so I don't know what was going on with these two, but I kind of get why they're being done. The next items I have are highlighters. So I'll start with this cream one from Marc Jacobs. I'll swatch it on my hand so you can see. Um, I don't particularly like this product. Oh, is it even going to come out? I don't particularly like this product because... It doesn't set in the skin and it's like this really white kind of highlight um, that's almost like too blinding for me. It stays sticky on your face all day and I mean you could put other products on it to set it but it doesn't, it, it just moves and smears whatever makeup that you have on your face. I think this is definitely like a um, like for photos or for runway. Like I don't think this is an everyday makeup item. I couldn't imagine someone using this as their day-to-day -day, uh, can or highlighters. The second item I have is this Estate um, Do Me Baked Highlighter Powder. I had gotten this from a girlfriend because she said that this shade, she just never really reached for highlighters. And this was a highlighter that I had kept in my collection because I really liked it, but I sincerely didn't have any other highlighters. But I just don't reach for it. I mean, it almost looks very similar to this Marc Jacobs one. I think it would be a bit more of like a pink tint versus the Marc Jacobs one. But I just don't reach for it. And I have other highlighters that I love more that give me the same kind of glow effect. I mean, a, a hot... A, a highlighter with a pinky kind of undertone, I already have that like two times over, so I don't really need to hold on to this one anymore. Um, I don't know if this item is still available. I haven't heard anything about the Estate brand in a while. I don't even know where they're sold anymore. Um, I think they were available at Ulta for a while. I, I'm not sure, or maybe Sephora. To continue my highlighter saga, I have the Highlight Blossoms and the Highlight Angels palette from Lime Crime. Um, I had purchased these to kind of expand my highlighter game. I don't know, I was always someone that was like not very interested in highlighter because I never understood what they did, but I realized it's just because I didn't know how to use them. Um, the shades themselves are really nice. I would say that the Blossom shade is more warmer toned and the Angel shade is cooler toned. I just don't ever reach for these. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of on the fence about decluttering them because I think like I open them and they look so pretty, right? Like um let's swatch the angels one. So these ones are like a white, a pink, and a blue. And they feel very soft in the pan. And I don't know if you can really see them, but like, I mean, in person, I can kind of tell that like one is more of like a purple blue, one is just like this cooler toned pink, but that white one at the very end looks very similar. To, it's almost like I used two, the two, these two together, so it's not as blue, but it's also got like a pink shift to it. The finish though is really pretty. It's like a foiled highlighter. Um... I wouldn't say as intense as like the Kleidos, but like in, in like I would put them in a similar category. I don't know. Maybe I won't declutter these ones because now that I'm playing with them, I'm kind of still very much into them. They're very glittery because they almost don't wash off all the way. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this warmer tone. So this one is like a pink, rosy kind of highlighter. 
This one is more of a purple. And then this one is supposed to be more of like a gold one. I would assume that this bottom one is more of like an everyday highlighter. So I can see these ones more on my hand. Um, this one is definitely more of like a rose pink. And this one is definitely more of like a, um, it's like a bit lighter. I don't, they're two different tones of pink, but they're very similar. Like this one is like a pink with like a gold shift. And this one is like a pink with an almost like a red shift in it. And then the center one is like a blue purple. Again, like just a bit deeper than what the blue one in the Angels palette looks like. But these are very pretty. I guess I could use them as like cheek toppers or even like iridescent shades on my eyelids. I don't know if I'm gonna declutter these ones. I don't really reach for them like ever and I have super shocks and other highlighters that I really, really enjoy using over these ones. But the tones of these highlighters aren't bad and I don't think that the quality is bad. It lasts me all day. Um, maybe I can find other ways to go about them. I just don't really tend to reach for face palettes like this. like. I don't know, maybe if they were singles, but when I open them, I don't know, like I, I'm inspired to do different types of looks when I look at them, so I, I don't know. These are, they're interesting and they're always on sale on Lime Crime, so I don't know if they're gonna discontinue them. I don't know. So maybe I'll hold on to these and figure out something, how to use these better. So another item that I have, um, for my face is this uh, MAC uh, Big Boost Fiber Gel Eyebrow Gel thing. Um, it definitely has the, you know those mascaras that have the fibers in them? This is definitely one of those products that you can see the little hairs. The, the shade of the product I don't have a problem with. It's just that it's so messy and you would think that even with like a smaller wand, it would be easier to kind of put where you want it, but I don't know. I th I don't know if it's just because like, if it had a smaller wand, I think it would be easier because it is like a fiber gel. It's just very, very messy and... Okay, so these are the last of my products. Um, and these are like my, my cream blushes. So I'll start with this first one. It's from Half Caked and the shade is You're So Last Summer. And it's in this beautiful heart compact um, similar to the kimchi one and it has like a magnetic close like it's a really neat product and I really wish I liked this more than I did um, half caked cosmetics is a black owned indie brand and they have so many interesting products in their collection it's just that the longevity of their products are just they're not there so I'll swatch this for you because this was one of my favorite more neutral leaning blushes And it's really pretty, but you really kind of have to like pack it on to kind of get anything to show up. And it doesn't, It almost as soon as you put it on, it, it disappears. So it really, really doesn't last. And I think this shade you saw last summer, they have a, a cream contour. And this is one of their shades where you can use it as a blush or a contour. And I mean, I've used it for both. Um, it's just not my, my favorite. I've tried other formulas that I like a whole lot more. And I have another half caked uh, cream blush and this one is in Club Paradise. This one's more of like an orangey kind of tone and I'll swatch it for you. I thought this was going to be the um, replacement for my Tarte. I have, a, there's a Tarte cream blush that I really really love that you Tarte no longer makes their cream blushes in like the sticks so I was just looking for a shade that would kind of be similar to it that could replace it and this is just more of like a pinky um kind of blush like it's almost too pink for me I think you can use these as like a cheek lip and eye thing um 
I just, I'm not that great. I'm not, I'm not that fond of this color. And again, just like the other one, the Club Paradise shade, it just doesn't have any long lasting standing ability. I don't reach for them. I have products that I like more. And if they up the formula, I think I would come back and try it again. I just, these aren't for me. Um, and that just makes me sad because I really, really wanted to like it. So the last of the products I have are my Lime Crime Software Blushes. And as you can see, I almost have the entire collection. Um, I purchased these not when they had just come out, but I think... I think it was when they had just started putting these on sale. I don't know. I bought these along with my ultraviolet palette. And if you're new to my channel, I bought the ultraviolet palette when it had dropped. And it was my return to makeup after being gone for, for a few years. Um, I was really big into makeup in 2012 to 2014. And then just stopped wearing makeup altogether just due to my job and I just didn't understand the point of spending that kind of money on things that I just didn't think were that great. Um, so I stopped buying makeup and then I don't know the ultraviolet palette kind of got me back into makeup and in my mind I really wanted to have a great cyberpunk aesthetic and I heard I've had seen reviews for these blushes and thought that these were perfect for me. They're supposed to be um, cream to powder finishes. I'll open them for you so you can see the shades. The shades are super beautiful in the pan. They have a matte and what do they call these? The Cyberwear Blush. Um, I don't know. The, the shinier, shimmery ones have like a different... They're called something else. I can't remember what they are off my head. But these ones I think are the more dewy finishes or supposed to be the more dewy finishes. Um, I don't think I have any doubles. Okay, perfect. I have three of three. So I'll start with the, um, Wi-Fi shade and it's, it's this cute orange one and you would think that it would be perfect. And in the pan, it feels really nice. Like it does feel like a cream. And then when you swatch it on your hand, it's like this beautiful orange. There's just not really any lasting power. Like they don't last that long. And like you really have to go in with your finger. They really don't pick up with a brush. They temporarily sold a brush that was supposed to go with these items, but they stopped selling the brush and I, I don't know why they discontinued the brush and not the rest of the items, but I think these items are on their way out because a lot of the shades that I do have, you won't be able to find on the Lime Crime website. You might find some remnants in like an Ulta, but even then like uh, numbers vary. You won't find them inside of your Ulta. You would have to buy them online. And then I have this shade Gigabyte, which is like this beautiful rose tone. But as you can see in the pan, like just running my finger in it, can I focus? Am I focused? As you can see, it's like really crumbly. And I don't know why that is. Like, I mean, I think these items are like a few years old. But this is like, this is the only one that has like that really like chunky, like it moves around. All the other ones are pretty smooth, but this one, this one you can definitely, like it feels more like a cream. So I don't know. I don't know if that's just like the formula going bad or, or what that is. Can I be in focus? Thanks. So I don't know. You can see that there's like chunky and like as you move your finger through it, it like lifts up. But it's this very cute pink. And then this last shade is Java. So this is one that you can't find off of the Lime Crime website. You can find it on the Ulta website, but I don't know if that's still true anymore. This one is a bit harder in the pan. Like I really have to work my finger to warm it up. Um, but this is just like a cool toned brown. I was using this as a bronzer for a long time. But see, like on the hand, the swatches look really, really nice. Like I really, really love the shades. It's just, 
it's hard to get the product out of the pan and I don't want to spend time really digging my fingers into it because look at my fingers now like these are so dirty and I shouldn't have to like really dig my fingers into a product for it to work because I, I don't know for me like I just feel like that's kind of gross um, I'm gonna switch and maneuver so I can swatch these dewy ones on my other hand so this one is in the shade cyber this one is supposed to be like the bronzy dewy finish this one is more of like a caramel shade it looks really pretty but again you I really had to dig my finger into the product to like even get this tone to show up but it's really really nice and then this is the shade Anthrium. I think this is the one that everyone said you kind of had to use as like a highlighter or like a cheek topper that the shade itself doesn't really show up. Um, this one definitely feels more creamy in the pan. And I really dug my fingers into that one. So I don't know, it, it almost looks like my hand almost looks Neapolitan right now. There's like this more caramel shade and this pinkier tone. And then this one is Flash Drive, which is supposed to be another, another one like the last shade where it's most people like it as a cheek topper, but it's more of like a rosy kind of shade. So my hand looks very Neapolitan right now. Digging my fingers into them, I could get them to show up, but I, I don't know, like, I, I look at my fingers, they're, they're filthy, they're gross. Um, but I don't really reach for these, and I don't, I don't know, I don't think these are, like, hard shades to replace, and I think there are other cream products. Like, I want to try the Fenty cream products, especially because, like, this shade range right now, it's not, like I said, it's not anything special, and I'm sure Rihanna has made shades like this in her cream products, so we'll see um but those are the items that i've had in my collection that i was that i'm gonna declutter um are you using any of these products do you have them in your collection do you feel the same way that i do about them or maybe they're your favorites i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below um and i will see you guys in the next one bye